What's up everybody? It's Traveling Power Rangers fan coming at you with a new video for July 2020. Uh, last time I posted a video on this channel was back in March, uh, prior to the COVID pandemic that has been uh, almost bringing the world to a stop. There's no Comic Cons going on. Uh, Power Morphicon was canceled. That was a big bummer. I was planning on going. Um, although, even though everything is stopping, uh, a lot of people out of work, I'm still taking time to buy collectibles and update my office and try to make it look as good as I can. So in this video, I'm going to take some time, show you guys the updated display, uh, take a look back at the last video, compare it to this one, you'll see some of the subtle changes. Um, it's mainly just been me getting a few things that I have always wanted and I'm super happy to have them. So thanks for tuning in. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments about my display. Alright, I figured the first step to show you guys is the actual desk that I use. Um, so this is where I'm going to be editing all my videos. I'm going to start doing unboxing reviews of the Lightning Collection. Stay tuned for that. Uh, I'm going to do a little bit of Twitch streaming on the new uh, desktop that I built during this pandemic. Uh, super excited to start showing you guys a little bit of different content. Uh, trying to stop only using Instagram because... How entertaining can that be for so long? So, let's move on over into Power Rangers land. Alright, a uh, little bit of random extra stuff before I get to Power Rangers. Uh, but, I actually picked these bad boys up during the pandemic. Uh, nice 90s Toys R Us exclusives. Uh, I'm pretty excited to have more 90s stuff in the display. As you'll see, there's not a whole lot going on. Uh, so I'm happy to have added. Uh, then we got the uh, the Dragon Shield shelf, as I like to call it. Got two of the Legacy Red Ranger Shields there. SFH, uh, the Fig Arts. Uh, super happy a buddy got me that. Uh, that actually, the Green Ranger came in the GameStop uh, multi-pack. Um, then I got the Legacy Dragon Dagger. And uh, a Voiceman. From the 90s, changes your voice, super awesome. Then we transition into uh, probably what's my favorite shelf. It's the, uh, the Tommy Oliver shelf. I got all of his forms that came out in the Legacy line. Uh, I got the Lord Draken that was Power Morphicon exclusive in the Throne that they only did 500 of for Power Morphicon. Super thrilled about that. Then we got uh, more Mighty Morphin Legacy line. Uh, Books a Million exclusive uh, Morphin pins. Uh, they were pretty awesome to get. Um, then I moved down. I got Mighty Morphin Funko Pops. Um, then Mighty Morphin Legacy Morpher. Then I got a, uh, a cosplay belt buckle for Green and uh, the Core 5 Rangers. The, the middle is a Jason font sized uh, Morpher that I got off a friend. Uh, and Green White Ranger Legacy Morpher. Then we got a little bit of the 20th anniversary tri Trivial Pursuit and Monopoly. Um, those were awesome to add. A um, little damage in shipping, but it's all good. We got a little bit of uh, Zord action. Uh, this is actually the bag I use to carry around to uh, Comic Cons. Um, that way I can hold gear with me and not worry about having pockets. Got a little bit of Zeo action here. Um, as I said in the last video, these coins I actually got from Nakia Barres, the Yellow Ranger, at MCM Comic Con in Scotland. Um, so, naturally, put them right next to their legacy action figures. And then, we got the In Space Rangers. Uh, you'll notice I'm missing quite a bit of the legacy line. I tend to lean towards only getting uh, from seasons that I watch. Um, I try to support them all when I can, but, you know, I can only get what I can get. Uh, I got this cool sign up here. It will change colors and everything. Cool little sign. Uh, I've got the Dino Thunder Legacy Build-A-Figure here. I think it just it came with a deal of me getting all the other baths, so I just kept it. Uh, here we got the Nano Metal Figs. Uh, they're pretty neat little guys. Uh, if you get a chance, check them out. Do it. Then I got a Mighty Morphin Cooler. Um, coming down, 
This is the 90s Ninja Zord uh, with the Falcon Zord on the back. The 90s White Tiger Zord. And then this is the Legacy uh, Thunder Zord. Uh, super cool guy. Love it. Moving down into more Zord territory, we got the uh, 2010 Megazord, the Legacy Dinozord, Legacy Falcon Zord, and Legacy Ninja Zord. Now, of course, those can combine to be much like this one, uh, but I wanted two different ones on the display to look different. Moving down, we got Morpher Shelf, as I like to call it. We got the Pink Legacy, Red Legacy, White Legacy, and Blue Legacy. And then a custom uh, Master Morpher. Uh, if you can't tell it ready, Tommy Oliver is obviously my favorite. So I got a little bit extra of him in there. Then Funko Pops. I've got the Evil Collection and the 2017 Collection. Uh, down here is just a couple boxes of stuff. Uh, that's the box from Power Morphcon we talked about. And the box for a helmet you're going to see here soon. Moving on, more Funkos. Got the Zords. Um, this is actually a damage morpher of Lord Draken by Henshin Vault. Was super happy to pick that boy up recently. Alright, the Ultra Zord. That guy I actually picked up in Scotland and had to bring home in a backpack. White Tiger Zord. The Legacy Blaster. I carry that guy for cosplay. Then we'll move over into the new Hasbro collection. Uh, I have all the Hasbro collection with the exception of the Yellow Ranger because she is pretty rare to get. So here we got our Lost Galaxy and In Space-esque shelf. The uh, Green Ranger Putty 2-pack. Uh, big complaint for everybody in the collecting world is how it's the Fighting Spirit Green Ranger. I actually don't mind because I know a normal Green Ranger will come out. Then we got our San Diego Comic Con exclusive. Got it off Hasbro's site. Was super thrilled that I got lucky to get one. Then we moved down into more Mighty Morphin. We got the Kimberly, the Billy, the Jason, the Zack, and the Tommy. Then, down here, we got Goldar, Lord Zed, Ranger Slayer. Awesome looking figure. I love it. Lord. Draken. I had to get two to make that corner effect. Then, moving down, we got a uh, little bit of Zeo. We got the Gold Ranger and Blue Ranger. We got Time Force Red Wes. Uh, then SBD. And then uh, we got the Beast Morpher selection that's out now. Um, like I said, I generally gravitate towards things that I watch. I have watched a few of the Beast Morphers, so it was good enough for me to keep them. The Dino Charge figures that came out with Lightning Collection, I actually gave away to a friend whose kids are getting in the Power Rangers uh, because I want the fandom to keep growing. So, that's the overall display. Now we'll get into the bonus stuff. Up here we've got the, uh, the world's smallest Power Ranger toys. They are super tiny. They are like the size of a quarter. Then, I got the Legacy Red and Green helmet and the Lightning Collection White Helmet. In between, I've got the, uh, let's see, uh, it was issue number three of the Power Ranger Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle uh, variants. Only one of those came for a comic book store, so I was super thrilled to see that in a store here in Germany. I had to pick it up. We got the, uh, the 90s uh, command center here with Alpha and Everybody but yellow, of course. That's my life in a nutshell of collecting. This is a book where I get all the rangers to sign. Uh, if you check out the last video, you can see all the people I've gotten to sign it. Um, I've also got pictures with them all. So, this is when I met uh, Steve Cardarius in Scotland. This one I got to meet um, original green, blue, and black in Brussels. Uh, this was actually from the second time I got to meet... Catherine Sutherland met her in Brussels a few months after I had met her in Scotland because uh, this is when I met her in Scotland. Uh, that's my comic collection that I don't really know what to do with yet. I just know I have a bunch of comics. 
Uh, then those are the metal die casts. They're not really big on the display because I didn't get them all. Uh, then coming over here is where I have my Starlight Communicators. Uh, I found a great deal. Guy selling a whole set, so I went ahead and grabbed it to put with my Legacy Communicator. And we got the uh, the final bit of wall here with a Legacy line, the Metallics. Uh, I love how they have the weapon. I just haven't had the heart to take them out of the box. And then I got the Zeo Staff and uh, Legacy Saba. They go uh, right next to my cosplays. So I have a green and red ranger cosplay. Um, I've only gotten to do it once, and that was two weeks before COVID got crazy. All right, guys. Thanks again for checking out the uh, display update video. Uh, like I mentioned throughout the video, uh, I plan on doing a lot more content. I'm going to start doing reviews of products that are coming out. Uh, I might even go back and start unboxing these uh, as the ways that Hasbro put them out. Uh, and maybe do some comparison between Legacy and Lightning Collection since that's what uh, a lot of people in the world like to do. Um, so my first review and comparison I'm planning on actually doing is going to be on Hasbro's Lightning Collection Dragon Dagger. Uh, I've been seeing a lot of stuff about it already. I uh, can't wait to get it in the mail. It's on its way. Uh, and then uh, I'm probably going to start posting some gaming content. Um, gonna start with probably Battle for the Grid. Uh, maybe I'll play some old school SNES style, uh, and just go from there and just see kind of uh, what the fans want to see. Um, and hopefully, um, we can start a cool back and forth between Power Rangers fans. They know there's a lot of content out there, um, and I love it. I just get to scroll through Instagram for hours and just see new Power Ranger related things. Uh, so I'm thrilled to start producing content for that fandom, uh, especially since I've been into it for so long. Um, and I have this, you know, I have all these toys that I want to show off and uh, interact with more people from the fandom, uh, especially right now when I can't go to Comic Cons to experience things with friends. Uh, so we get to do it virtually. Uh, I wish I had done it earlier in the pandemic, uh, but it seems like. This is the new norm for a while, that there won't be Comic-Cons for the year, uh, Power Morphicon being delayed to next summer. Uh, so hopefully get to build some friendship with you guys and meet you guys at different cons and stuff like that. So uh, thanks for watching. Uh, if you have any recommendations on what I should be doing, please feel free to leave a comment. Uh, subscribe so you can get more uh, videos like this from me. Uh, check me out on Instagram right here traveling power rangers fan same as it is here on youtube uh, hopefully uh we hear from you guys soon have a great day